That's the moment Decatur police officers opened fire on a homeowner, killing him in his own front yard. Now confirmed, that action violated police protocols and procedures. That's according to Chief Todd Pinion, who finished his internal investigation into his officers. Meantime, the family of Steve Perkins, who've been demanding justice since the beginning, are now renewed in their calls after this revelation. WAFF 48's Matthew King joins us live in Decatur. Matthew, you spoke to the Perkins family tonight. They have mixed reactions. Well, members of the Perkins family feel like tonight was one of their first wins in a long time, but there's still more to do. On top of that, protesters say they're going to continue peacefully protesting in the name of Steve Perkins, even though that was almost derailed tonight. A major step in a high profile case. So it makes me feel good. Nick Perkins, brother of Steve Perkins, says he's pleased over Decatur Police Chief Todd Pinion's decision that officers violated policies in the fatal shooting of his brother. We've seen the cameras, we've seen the video footage. You know, and it's almost like your, your hand was caught in the cookie jar. Um, we know that, but to, uh, to hear that the chief um, admitted it um, gives a, a slight sense of relief. In a lengthy statement, Chief Pinion said he believes discipline is warranted in this situation and went as far as apologizing for Perkins' truck being allowed to leave a crime scene by a tow truck while he lay dying in his front yard saying, quote, I am sorry for the additional pain caused and pledge we are working to address the culture of our police department to ensure compassion remains at the top of our core values, end quote. Nick Perkins feels it's taken too long to reach this decision. You know, had this been um, a different situation and been turned around and uh, the police could have been exonerated quickly, we would have saw this take two, three days afterwards, you know, and, and things would have progressed uh, in a more vast um, direction. Uh, but since it has taken so long, you know, that's produced anxiety, it, uh, it's produced frustration. Other protesters say today's decision is just the beginning. Um, he said that policies and procedures were broken. Uh, we told him that and the rest of the councilmen that um, the Monday after Steve's murder, the first council meeting, we told them what policies and procedures were broken. We already knew that. They took to Decatur streets to keep the focus on justice for Steve Perkins. Until someone smashed the window of a local cigar shop and took off. Protesters immediately questioned the masked figure and tried to run them down until hey, he pulled the gun. Now you may have heard it in that video. People said, who did that? Who is that? Who is that? Protesters told me after that incident, they still have no idea who that figure was as they ran away from them, even pulling a gun on them. They, the protesters tell me they're frustrated that this happened because it pulls away from their message of peace and continuing to use their voice instead of violence like that. Now, the findings today from Chief Todd Pinion, those are all now going to the desk of Mayor Tab Bowling. He'll look at that on Monday morning. Reporting live in Decatur, Matthew King, 48 on your side.